Hello, I'm the Commander Xander. I remember so the stats critic doesn't have to. And neither should you. It's time for another sports review, kiddies. Haven't you already done enough? We're already worn out by the sports reviews. Pick back up only. You can never have enough sports. That's right, we're doing another baseball review. Bull Durham! A late 1980s baseball flick that pretty much was an adult version, if you will, although not really close to it, of the Bad News Bears. It stars an up-and-coming pitcher with a veteran catcher, and they have to form together. Kevin Costner, Susan Sarandon. You got to get me to the major leagues! There's no ride more vicious than Bull Durham. Which is completely false. It's just a baseball movie. Let's delve into it. It's this Bull Durham. Credit for the movie does go to MGM, a.k.a. Metro Goldwyn Mayer. And no, this is not for monetary purposes. This is strictly for review. Orion is also involved in this one. They get some mad props, too. See? You wonder why it's called Orion? Look! It's so pretty, the lights. But that's not what you're here for. Now, as I mentioned before, Susan Sarandon, whom your voice is, uh, who, whom her voice is being heard as the narrator, is in this movie. She plays the dirty, dirty male, which is the complete opposite of the role that she played in Lorenzo's Oil. I mean, four years later. My golly, would anyone want to do it with Susan Sarandon? Really? You're fantasizing on Susan Sarandon? What the hell's wrong with you? I'd rather be doing it with Penny. Too late, I already claimed her. Ah, oh, crap, that's right. Ah, eh, whatever. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant the other mirror. No, wait, I meant that mirror. Who's the prettiest of them all? Of course you learn about the rules, if you will. The baseball rules. Not to mention that it's basically a religion for these people. Okay, would you like to stop narrating? Why do I always review movies where the narrator does stuff for me? I don't want the narrator interrupting my review. I won't. So... Yes! The guy that plays Alexander Nock one year later is in this movie, too. This is the new pitcher. His name is... Well, we're gonna call him Duke. But we're gonna call him Duke. Oh, yeah, you're, you are thinking the same thing as I am. You are mesmerized by Susan Sarandon. For what? You got your radar ready? Ready. Go to it. Because we're going to see how fast this kid can throw the damn ball. Spoiler alert, the guy lacks control with his pitches. Thanks for telling us! I already said that, you damn commentator! That's why he's got the big helmet. Here's the windup and the pitch, and... There goes the season. You are resting your 0-3 start in the hands of Mr. I can't throw for shit! Well, good luck with that one, bud! I feel bad for these two. They have to put up with these crappy, 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 crappy players that are nowhere close to making the fucking majors until one Kevin Costner comes a-calling. Because you know how obsessed he is with baseball. Come on! You can't have a baseball movie without Kevin Costner. He lives and dies with it! Where can I go? I once remember de dealing with Sears. Too bad they're out of business. Sad, strange world we live in. 
Well, my AAA contract gets bought out so I can hold the flavor of the month stick in the bus leagues. Is that it? Ooh, oh, nice language. Of course, he wants to try and work his way up to the big time and show what he's capable of, seeing as how he spent his entire career in the minor leagues. I fucking quit. Mm. Really? I quit. You can't quit. No way in hell can you quit. So, of course, he's persuaded otherwise to come back and runs into Duke. Yeah? From what I hear, you couldn't hit water if you fell out of a fucking boat. Ooh, you do not want to mess with fucking Kevin Costner. Drunk, come on. Right in the chest. Oh, yeah. He's going to miss. Come on, mate. You're not going to hit me because you're starting All right, how many of you want to bet that this guy is going to actually hit Kevin fucking Costner? Do I hear $50? 50-50. $50 that he's going to hit Kevin Costner. Do I hear 100 100 100 Oh, 100 right here. Do I smell 150 Oh, I want 200 in the mouth. You can't even afford this crap, at least so get out of here. Do I hear 150, 150, 150, going once, going twice? So, to the man who wages 150 bucks that the poor, pathetic pitcher is going to hit Kevin Costner in the bacon. Let's see the result. I'm starting to think how embarrassing it would be to miss in front of all these people, how somebody might laugh. He, of course, gets into his head, which might persuade him otherwise. I got a good idea about that head of yours. Oh boy. This persuades him. Here he comes. <laughs> Easy as 150 bucks I got. Okay, pay up, pay up. <laughs> Ooh, and then he gets walloped by Kevin Costner. I told you not to mess with him, man. Ooh. You learn from Kevin Costner and you too will be a professional baseball player. Because the man knows nothing but the sport. So, of course, what does Nuke do instead? Oh, for crying out loud. She's way out of your lead, Nuki. Of course she's going to try and seduce him. What a fucking shock. Because again, this is an adult movie. I know what you're thinking. Baseball... Passion, clean, safe. This is adult junk written all over it. So Kevin Costner's walking out and wondering what the hell he got himself into more than likely. After a great at bat. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You could read that in a heartbeat. You could see the F word. They're going to bang it. <laughs> that is true comedy, if I do say so myself, by Kevin Costner. Let's play. It says, I want to make love to you. That's saying it lightly. What, is he, what he really said is, let's fuck. Or just meet up at the batting cage and work on your hip movement. See my hips? Yeah. Again. Really, really dirty if you think about this. So is this gonna happen? Us? Yeah. Of course, she's committed to the young tyke instead of the wily old veteran. By the way, why are you making him learn how to move your hips when you can't swing the ball for shit? You can't make contact. Um, that's because nobody wants to have him. Or maybe there's a lot of catchers that have been taken, and thus he is proving his wily old veteran self. Or maybe it's a fact that's Kevin fucking Caster, and you should be paying attention to what he says! Relax, let's have some fun out here. This game's fun, okay? Yeah, listen to Caster. It's a fun game, especially when your team's winning, which you're not, but my team is. The Twinkies are on a roll to start the season. Maybe there's high hopes. He, of course, is talking about the baseball babes on a bus ride to a fucking road trip because they're going on a long SF and road trip and no one's being motivated. So do you want to know what motivates this fucking team? You got it. Now we have got a 12-day road trip. 
starting tomorrow. Must leave six in the morning. That's right. He tries to scare the patootie out of him. How did he get this idea, one might ask? Why don't you take a wild fucking guess? How about the wily old veteran named Kevin Costner? He makes a cunt, they move on, they start their road trip, and wouldn't you know it, the motivational speech does little to help the fucking team. Why? Because they still suck! Okay, you are the worst manager. No wonder why you're in the minor leagues. I'm a major, still a minor league manager. You have to be told by your catcher to get on your team and make them play better. You barely did, and they still can't produce. All right, that's it. Find the manager and make Kevin Costner the new manager. He knows what the hell he's doing. Oh, I know what I'm thinking about. Thing is, how there's a lot of it in this fucking movie. So, Kevin Costner comes up with a brilliant idea to get him motivated, and then Susan Sarandon tries to teach Duke how to throw the ball fucking accurately. I want you to be aware of the chakra connection between your feet and your testicles. Sure. Yeah, your right leg and your left testicle and your left leg and your right testicle. Good fucking God! Why do we have to mention those for pitching? All right. Fire one in there. This is absolutely sick. It's a weird way to talk about baseball, but okay. You're patronizing me and I will not be Ooh, don't patronize. I'm too hard, I'm going to hurt the girl. This girl has handled a lot of pitchers whose records are a lot better than one in seven. Yeah. One in six. Oh, sorry. Give me the goddamn ball. That's right. Throw some fucking heat. That's what you're paid to do. But of course he does that and again fucking misses. So he can throw the heat but can't throw it accurately. But when he throws it accurately, less heat. Kevin Costner gives him another tip. Yeah, it's a fucking miracle. Oh yeah, and you're wondering why that gesture. Oh yeah, he motivated him to hit the ball. Just to prove how wild and tenacious he is and intimidate the batter. But yeah, you're probably wondering why the eye movement. Well, just as Susan Sarandon. Apparently it seems to work out just fine when you roll your eyes up like that. Maybe he's thinking, ugh, boom! Because I'm bored with this shit. So, of course, he proceeds to kick some fucking ass. He goes on a win streak, as does the team, and thus he cannot have sex or any intercourse whatsoever with Susan Sarandon until the streak is broken. Because one of the most sacred rules that Kevin Costner says about baseball, never mess with a streak. That is totally true. Oh yeah, and on a side note, these two get married. Moving on, this is least of the worries. Can't lose and I can't get laid. So, Susan's not too happy that she can't get laid, so she goes to Kevin Costner to let her rage out. Here's a wonderful idea, Susan Sarandon. Do it with Kevin Costner! Or maybe me for that matter. <laughs> And she's out of your league, too, Commander Loser. Quick bucket bowling. Shut up. At least I got Penny, unlike you. I don't look loose. Anything bothering him? He says his uh, shop is a jam. He's having trouble breathing out of his uh, left eye. Right eye. Right eye. What the fuck? Oh, jeez. Well, at least he didn't throw it out of control. But... High for a ball, but hey, no nervousness in baseball. There's no nerve wrecking in baseball. You gotta bury the nerves. Oh yeah, that's cool. Meanwhile, we start to have a nice little conference about everyone having their own fucking problems, and then.
A throw to the plate. Oh, that was a close play. Come up. All right. All right. I love that. Fucking love it. Kevin Costner has the balls to call him a cocksucker and gets his ass thrown out. Maybe that's what inspired that scene from uh, League of Their Own with the with the hat looking, making it look like a... Well, I'm not even going to go there. Crash the game gets out of hand, of course, and thus the streak is broken. Only one problem. She still can't do it with him. Why? Because the big league's called up. Uh -huh. Yes, he, he most certainly is here. By the way, free show for the kiddies. Nice music in the background, too. And by the way, I'm absolutely in awe with this fluorescent design. It looks so... 18th century. No, scratch that. 19th century. I kind of like it. So, of course, he gets the call to the big league. Which, of course, does not serve Drunky McDrunkykins well. Why? Because Kevin Costner's playing pool and he's already drank a bottle or two and gets sucker punched in the eye. And so, life moves on. And eventually, Kevin Costner becomes... I a word for you with the organization. Well, he gets to cut. I thought you might make a fine minor league manager someday. Yeah, no shit, seeing as though he's the reason why this team did fucking well. He had to inspire you to fucking make that speech, which was... Semi-decent at best. Yeah, hell of a year, Crash. Yeah, so why the hell are you dumping him? What a load of crap. I feel bad for Kevin Custer. He puts in all that hard work and what does he get? Absolute bupkis. So he goes to Susan Sarandon and, uh, yeah, Big Shock. The two fucking do it. Don't believe me? This is the scene. The next fucking morning. By the way, nice robe. I'm assuming that's Susan Sarandon because I do not envision him wearing a robe of that every day while eating the breakfast of champions. That has Bo fucking Jackson on the damn box. You couldn't have gotten a baseball player for that? I don't know what the hell she's eating, but otherwise, yeah, they sound like they're fucking high as hell. Okay, maybe it's porridge. She's eating porridge and he's eating the breakfast of champions. Hmm. Interesting combination. And then they go back to bed. After little boogie woogie. Oh my god. Didn't believe me that they were actually going to do it? Well, there's your proof. Oh my god. What the fuck? Interesting. She's tied up. Helpless. At the mercy of Kevin Costner. Oh dear fucking God almighty. Nobody needs to see that. Oh great. Now their legs are rubbing. What is he doing? Oh I see what he's doing. Okay. Tease alert. He's just putting the... Okay yep. Yeah. Fooled you! They did! Yeah, yeah. So he wakes up the next morning, writes a letter, and walks off and drives off and uh, goes take that minor league job. Greg! So she gets two lovely guys on different ends of the age spectrum and she manages to lose both of them. One to the big leagues, one to another minor league team. And without the two of them, you could probably imagine how the rest of the Bulls Durham season went. It fucking sucked. Balls. So, of course, after uh, Kevin Costner sets the minor league record for home runs, he comes right back to Susan Sarandon in the rain. Or actually, Susan Sarandon meets up with him. 
And the two decide to settle down. And I'm assuming the two have a lovely life that they live for the rest of their eternal lives. The end. Question mark? Potential sequel, maybe? Who knows? I don't know if you should mess with the original, though. But this is Bull Durham. Or, that was Bull Durham. It's a really good baseball movie, especially if you're into it and you learn a lot from the game because Kevin Costner does a tremendous job. Why? Because he is that passionate about baseball. He brings that passion to the movies, and that's why he does well in this movie and Field of Dreams, which is another good baseball movie, which I have yet to see yet. Although I heard that one's decent, too. So, if you're looking for a nice little baseball movie with a little bit of everything, and I do mean a little bit of everything, Bull Durham is for you, so definitely check it out. I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it's something that sounds like you're going to have to do and here's to do.